Creative Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can modify a spiral design in a number of ways to create more interesting spiral designs in Illustrator. Right, got a spiral here, and I create spirals using the spiral tool. So you can just create a quick spiral like that. You can modify the spiral in a number of ways. Just click on the artboard and then just modify for its decay radius. I'm not going to change that now, I'm just going to go with the default one. So while you select that, one good thing, you can actually modify the stroke size, so you can make that say 16, 20. Also, you can use these width profiles, which can create some interesting spiral straight away. So I'm just going to go to say 80, and you've got that a very nice sort of spiral design, much thicker spiral design like that. Of course, there's a selection of different spirals you can go through here with profiles, but you can also modify the actual width profile as well. So just go down here to the width profile, just down there, width tool, and then just drag that out or reduce the size. Or you can go up there to that one and then just select a point and then just drag that out. So literally hundreds of different spiral designs can be created that way. Very unique spiral designs can be that one. Now, also what you can do, you can also use brush definitions. So you can go to basic, you can use so maybe a rough brush. So I'm just gonna set that again a bit bigger. That's a bit too big, you actually end up losing the entire spiral. So about say, 18 point, and you can still see the spiral design there. Now, at this point, I don't want to actually do that, so I'm just going to remove that. So just go up there, remove brush stroke, and just go back to this, and set the size again, something a bit more visual. Now, also you can use the appearance palette to actually add to the spiral, so you don't have to keep it like that. You can actually go to window and appearance, of course it's displayed there, and you'll see there you've got a stroke, just got a stroke set in 60 points, and what you can do is add a new stroke on top. Now, just goes to the default size, so you can just set it to say maybe another side, just set that one, and set that to blue, and you can see straight away, you've still got much of the spiral, of course you don't have to use it at 60 point, you maybe go to 20, and you've got this inner spiral and an outer spiral as well, around there. And of course, once you've decided, you've changed it, of course you can even add more actually than that, so you could actually add three, four, five, six, seven different strokes to that stroke spiral. Once you've finished, you can just go expand appearance and you'll notice actually you've got a vast number of points there. You can quickly remove that as well, just by going to object, path and simplify. Sometimes the results are not so great, but you can see you can click back there. Very much like that. Another tool to use would be something like the Smart Remove Brush from Astute Graphics, which is very good for removing points as well. I quite often use that instead of that. But uh, it also can be useful for creating some very unusual spirals just by not going for the curved precision. You can actually just go for, or maybe even use straight lines. So you can actually create some very abstract spirals just by using that approach like that. Another way you can do it, of course, you can undo Simplify and you can actually just modify it further with maybe adding Distort and Transform. So you can go say like Tweak or Zigzag. I'm going to go for Zigzag. Preview. You can see you can create some very intense, that's probably worked best if you've actually simplified it beforehand though. Because you notice it creates an awful lot of points. Click OK. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.